So if you've been interested in foraging for mushrooms with medicinal qualities, but either aren't able to get out into the woods or don't have any in your area, then I may have an option for you. This is the Vitaging Mushroom Complex. If you're interested in hearing more about this product, keep watching. Okay, it's very important that I point out that I am in no way claiming that this product or any mushrooms that you may forage for yourself while out in the woods will prevent you from becoming sick. However, it is important that we all have a strong immune system to help us stay healthy. And that's what this product is intended to do. It is a dietary supplement that will help you develop a good, strong immune system. So before we start talking about the product itself, I thought I would just give you a quick backstory on how I happened to receive some of this. So Dean, the owner of the company Vitaging, reached out to me some time ago by email and had mentioned that he had watched my video on making a medicinal cocktail from mushrooms that I had foraged out in the woods. And if you're interested in that video, I'll put a link up here in the corner. And Dean had said he wanted to send me some of the product as a thank you for making videos like that. Now, I had assumed that Dean wanted me to make a review of his product, so before I responded, I did take a look at this product online. I looked at Dean's website. I even watched some of Dean's YouTube videos, and of course, I'll put links to all his material in the show notes below. I was impressed with what I saw, so I responded to Dean and said, yes, please send me some of your product. I'll try it out, and if I think there's value, I'll do a re review on it. And Dean had clarified, he said, no, I just wanted to send this to you as a thank you for doing the videos. However, if you want to do a review, then I'd be happy to see that. So that's why I have some of this product. So the Vitaging Mushroom Complex is made from eight mushrooms that are well known for their medicinal qualities. And rather than going through each of the mushrooms, I thought I would just list the information in the show notes below where you can find out more about this product. So basically, the mushrooms that have been collected are considered organic, gluten-free, vegan, and non-GMO. The extraction itself is a dual extraction process using both water and alcohol to get the most from each of the mushrooms. So what I thought I would do is take this down to the countertop and open it up and show you what it looks like, mix them up in water, talk a little bit how you would use this to help support your immune system. So according to the directions on the side of the canister, the amount you would take on a daily basis as an immune support is two servings, and each serving is about one teaspoon per serving. So what I'm going to do right now is just demonstrate dissolving some of this in some tap water. So I have approximately a teaspoon. I don't usually measure it out that precisely. But it uh, dissolves well as long as you give it a good shake in the water. Should move that out of the way. I'll tell you what I have done is when I first received the product and I opened it up and looked at it and I could see the darker color that hopefully you can see looking in there. It reminded me a little bit of chaga when it's all ground down pretty fine. And there is chaga, which is one of the contents of this uh, product. And uh, the smell also reminded me of a few other mushrooms that I have foraged and used and eaten, actually, like shiitake. And uh, um, I tasted it on the end of my finger, and I, I'll be honest, it tasted a little bit bitter on my finger. And I thought, okay, it's not going to be the most pleasant thing to take in a concoction like such as I have right here. But uh, I mix some up in water as I'm doing right now. And like I said, you do have to stir it a bit to dissolve, but it is pretty pretty fine powder so it does dissolve. But uh, you know, I've, I've actually grown to appreciate the flavor. It's different. It is a little bit bitter, but to be quite honest, my homemade uh, medicinal cocktail, and I use a lot of birch polypore in it, that's much more bitter than this is. So I, as I've said, I've mixed it in water, but I also wanted to try it in other things to see what it would take, if I can improve the taste or make it something that I'd be a bit more palatable. So I have mixed it in with coffee, I've mixed it in with tea, I have mixed it in with juice. I can't say juice was a great way to mix it in, but it still remains a little bit bitter. So what I was doing is also mixing in a little bit of honey to sweeten it up. That's something I do with my own medicinal cocktail. And I found that uh, I've actually become not only accustomed to it, but 
enjoying it for what it is, for its own flavor. As long as I put a little bit of something sweet in it, it does have a flavor that actually tends to grow on you. The suggestions on the side also say that you could use this as a spice if you want, a, as a flavoring that put on top of food or in a soup. I think it would probably go well in soup. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things that if you decide you wanted to try this, that you'll have to find what you consider the best way to take it. C certainly the simplest way is to mix in a little bit of water, a teaspoon in the morning and some water, drink it down, and a teaspoon in the evening and drink it down. And you're going to do a lot right there to support your immune system. Now the directions also do say that you can use this therapeutically. So if you were to become sick and your immune system is starting to be taxed, that you can double your dosage. I think it says on the side two to four servings per day. So rather than just two, and that will help you fight off any infections that you may get. So, let me just finish mixing this up. Okay, so what does it taste like? Well, mushrooms, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, the, actually, the more I drink this, the more I actually kind of like the flavor. It's different than anything you've experienced before, unless you obviously make your own medicinal cocktails at home from mushrooms, but it's not bad. It's not it's something that makes me want to just cringe when I drink it. There's a little bit of a bitterness to it, but uh, it's, it's certainly palatable. And that was just mixing it in water. Again, if you mix it in something else like a cup of tea or a cup of ta coffee, uh, add a little honey to it, it, it becomes that much more almost enjoyable. Okay. There's not much more I can say about this product. I wanted to share this with you as an option if you're unable to find mushrooms in your area or if you're not able to get out into the woods but you're looking to support your immune system, then this may be something that you want to consider trying. I can't say that this works better than the stuff that I find in the woods, but uh, it's a good option for people who just can't get out and find their own. I also wanted to share you something else that Dean sent with me along with the mushroom complex. He sent a couple of these jars. Now these are glass jars that are opaque, meaning that there is no light getting through them. And he, these are intended for storing things like mushroom powders or other things that you don't want to have affected by the environment, either by the air or by the sunlight especially. These are especially good for that. Glass, of course, is non-reactive and nothing that you put in it is going to react like it might with metals or plastics. So I appreciate these. These are also available for sale on Dean's website. I just want to open one up to show you. Now the lid is plastic. It's a very hard plastic, but the jar is glass and it's kind of cool. Inside is this little tiny bamboo spoon, if I can get it out, that can be used for measuring your powders and mixing them into the drinks. So I want to thank Dean for sending this out as well. This is something that if you're into making your own medicinal cocktails up from mushrooms that you can forage yourself, this may be a good way of storing them to prevent them from deteriorating over time. Okay, one more thing before I close this video out, and that is Dean, the owner of Vita Jing, has offered a discount for anyone who is interested in trying his product out. And I'll put the, the discount code in the show notes below and across the screen right here. So go to his website, take a look at what he has to offer. You may be interested in trying this, but I leave it up to you. And until next time, don't forget to get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.